Hello, everybody. Welcome back to. <laughs> she said nuclear high. <laughs> it's so funny. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Animal Crossing. My name is Captain Sweaty. We're playing Animal Crossing. I'm very glad to see you. It's good that we're friends. You know, I'm a little miffed you guys didn't turn up to my birthday party. I sent you an invite, and and no nobody RSVP'd. Nobody said that they were gonna come. Nobody said they weren't gonna come. So I took that as a sign that you were gonna come. And boy, I waited. We had a cake. We had a clown. Forecasts show heavy rains expected through September. But a pleasant stretch of Indian summer in October should cheer you all up. Indian summer, can you say that? Is that allowed? Are you allowed to say that? I don't think you're allowed to say that. I think that is an illegal. And we will have no illegals in my time. <laughs> Oh my god. We have a special offer today at a stunning black pod. As always, we have ready for other items as well. So my voice had a problem at the beginning there. When I step by, I'm better now though. Come on, come on down. And that's me and Tom Luke. When I said... Okay, let me clarify something real quick. When I said there were no illegals in my time, I meant the illegal um, uh, free as Indian summer. I didn't mean like... The illegal immigrants, okay? Let me just make that clear. Legal immigrants are absolutely allowed to come in. Legal immigrants are allowed to come in too. Bring them all in, right? Let them all stay in my time. You can all come in. Everybody is welcome, except the bad people. That's the way I feel like everybody should be living their life. Let everybody in, except the bad people. Put all the bad people in a different place. Although, to be fair, we tried that. Years ago, the UK tried that. They were like, all our criminals will go to Australia. And then everybody was like, I actually like Australia. Let's go there. So then they had to go live with a bunch of criminals. And uh, that was that was tricky. And no, Australia is not really full of criminals at all. I mean, there's probably some criminals. This episode has gotten off to a terrible start. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I'm going to get canceled. They're all going to cancel me. Somebody in th four years, right? What year is this now? 2022. Mark it. Mark it in your calendars. And in about four years' time, somebody's going to come back to this episode and go, we're going to cancel you. And then I'm going to get canceled, right? You're probably going to ask yourself, canceled from what? I don't know what I'm going to be doing in four years. I'll probably get... I'll, I'll, uh, there'll be something. Maybe I'll have my own television show. I'll call it D D Dinkle Tunes, right? And then I'll be really proud of Dinkle Tunes. I'll be so pr proud, so proud. And then someday someone's going to go, Hey, remember that episode of Amacross where you said you didn't like illegals? And the studio was full of criminals. And I'm like, ah, that's not quite what I said, is it? And then they're going to they're gonna use this uh, uh, episode as evidence. And then they go, this is exactly what you said. Although if you were to watch this episode, we would actually get the context of what you said. And understand it completely. However, we're not going to watch the whole episode. Because that would give you more views. And that would be bad. Because you're cancelled. And then a big finger comes out of the, ca the computer and points at me. You're cancelled. Like that. And then I'm like, whoa, that's weird. I don't like that. Don't, don't do that with the finger didn't like it but they're like doesn't matter you're cancelled you and then the finger comes out again I'm like stop pointing at me stop it I don't like this and they're like nobody likes being cancelled but those are just the consequences of being cancelled how do you like it I'm like what are, you what are you talking about what's going on here I'm very confused but that's what happens when you get cancelled and then my t and then my television show Dinkle Tunes will actually get cancelled. And then I'm like, no, I worked so hard on this. I put so many R's into Dinkle Tunes, and then, then, then you just took it away. Because of one silly YouTube video I put up four years ago. And they're like, you're goddamn right. We'll do it again, too. And, you know, the, the worst thing about this is the people who cancel other people, you oftentimes you find that they have done very cancelable things. The problem is they haven't done anything that can get cancelled right what I mean by that is the people who accuse other people of, of, of uh, improprieties you you should be cancelled right all that shit a lot of the time you find that those guys they also do like terrible shit like it be though if you read their twitter page it's also terrible right but 
they haven't they don't have a TV show you can cancel them for. So you're like, well, how do I cancel you? Get you kicked off Twitter? Some people just spend their time kicking people off Twitter. And you're like, this is a waste of time. I'm going to say that right now. Kicking people off Twitter is usually a waste of time. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are like, yeah, we did it. I'm like, you did what? Nobody cares about Twitter. You know what I mean? I don't really like cancel culture because I don't think that it's real. Because... No, because nobody ever gets cancelled anyway, right? Everybody gets really angry at somebody for a long time, and they're like, you're a dick. And a lot of the time, the person who is getting cancelled probably deserves it, right? He is probably a dick. And it is often, almost every single time it's a dude, so it's usually he. And they usually do deserve, like, some kind of comeuppance, right? But then the comeuppance they get is, like, to get kicked off Twitter, in which case that person can now be a horrible person in real life instead of just on Twitter, which I don't think is a good idea. And the person doesn't learn any lessons, which is a bad idea. And if the person does have some kind of television show, it's taken away from them. And they're going to get even, they're going to be even more bitter and they're not going to learn any lessons, right? So like, I, I, I'm like, nobody ever gets cancelled anyway, right? They're like, oh, you're going to get cancelled. But then like, you look at all the guys who have been cancelled, right? They all still have money. They all still have careers. They all still have lives and jobs and shit. So you're like, what the f- What? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not a- uh, My point is, it's not a good way for people to learn lessons. I feel like with cancel culture, you're just going to get people who double down on their horrible, shitty opinions. Instead of actually learning that their horrible, shitty opinions are bad. You know what I mean? I think that that's kind of productive. It's like you're not changing anything, but you feel like you are. And then it gives people on Twitter like a, a little moral support superiority. And you're like, well, it's fake. It's, you know, that's why I feel like cancer culture is. It's like it's trying to change the world. But the world is like the microcosm that is Twitter. And you're like, well, you know, who cares? So that's why I welcome my 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 eventual canceling, because then I can just get off Twitter for good. And I'm like, well. Don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm, I'm, good. I'm done. Hello, I haven't seen you in a long time. Have you been cancelled? I thought you were going to hit me. Oh, I thought you were going to hit on me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's going to get me cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like I don't have to wait four years to get cancelled. Lucky me. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Mitzi. Hi. She turned around when I said hi. That's amazing. Mitzi, come over here. Mitzi, give me six pines. She came over here when I said come over here. Oh my god, Mitzi. That's amazing. I, I guess it's kind of late to be saying good morning. You know, it's times like these that make me think the whole greeting thing is difficult. I agree, Mitzi. It's too hard. Are you a member of the Happy Room Academy? Yes, sir. A lot of people are too intimidated to submit to those inspections. I mean, it can be pretty stressful having your house evaluated so often, but here's a tip on how to make it easier on yourself. Now, for instance, a well-coordinated room feels more relaxing. You're collecting... Oh, that was bad. All white furniture, or maybe you can collect rocks and then display it <laughs> I feel like I'm really just giving people a reason to counsel me because of this episode. <laughs> I'm making it easy on you guys. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. Like, whenever my eventual cancellation turns up, there's nothing I can say. I'm like, yeah, got me banged the rights with this one. What are you on here about? You seem awfully busy most of the time. I kind of think it's bad for you. Tell me about it. I'm so busy. Um. Yeah, whatever. What are you talking about? You were angry a moment ago. Why are you not angry? Is your house still a complete mess? Uh, sure. I'm going to tell her it's a mess because uh, Gwen's a little, She likes being a little stuck up all the time. Stop wasting all your time chatting like this. I'll try cleaning up your place. Or how about helping somebody out? People who don't work shouldn't get to eat. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what? 
What is happening? What is going on? What? I don't know. Hi, Hector. Tell me something good. Give me some good. Give me some good news, Hector. Help me out here, dude. I'm getting counseled. I need some. I need some help. Depend. No. No. Don't. What color did you paint my roof? Oh, puke color. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you fuck off. God damn it. Is this what I get for being counseled? Somebody paints the color of my roof like a horrible color or something? This is terrible. This is the worst episode. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. What color is it? Pink? You know, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, I mean, if if, if, if the, the consequences of me getting canceled is that I have a, a pink roofed house, I think I can live with it. You know? A lot of this really stems on me actually becoming a success in the next four years. To be able to get my own TV show... Which apparently I'm going to call Dinkle Town. No, Dinkle Tunes. Dinkle Tunes. And then have it taken away from me. But I don't even know what kind of. I've got four years to think about what the fuck Dinkle Tunes is about. I'm intrigued by the name, you know. And, and it's going to be like a critically acclaimed success, but I'm going to get cancelled and everyone's going to get really disappointed. They're going to be like, boy, we had high hopes for Dinkle Tune, but. It turns out that this guy made a bad episode of Animal Crossing one day. And everybody hated it. So he can go to hell. And then I'll get a TV show somewhere else. I'll wait a couple of years after that. And I'll make a big comeback episode. And they're like, wow, he's 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 here. But I'll be off Twitter so I won't have to listen to any of the criticism. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's a life hack. What do you think of that? Ho ho ho. That's another thing, right? People get criticism on Twitter, right? But if you if you drive people away from Twitter, they won't be able to read any of this criticism. That's what I'm saying. Nobody learns lessons if you drive them off Twitter, right? Then they just get angry, and then they're like, well... I feel like people, when you drive them off Twitter, they double down on their feelings. They're like, well, I am right. Look, everybody is a mean to me, you know? Like, it just reinforces a lot of their ideals. Although the trick is, for a lot of these people who get cancelled, you feel like even if you met them in real life, it'd be very difficult to, like, actually talk to them and have a conversation with them, you know? Hello. Oh, it's nuclear. Nuclear, ha. Huh? Are you exploding? How dare you? She called me a silly billy. Gosh, she loves nuclear war. Do I have it going on? Sure. Don't I know it? If you like my dresses so much, I'll give you one of mine. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to dress. Oh, what do I want to dress for? Let me have a look at what this looks like. Let me. See, where is it? Is this gonna get me cancelled wearing this dress? Let me see. Ah, uh, I like the blue better. I, I think it just it it brings up my eyes because my eyes are blue. See that that explains that. You gotta you gotta think logically about this stuff. You know, hello Froggy. A nice afternoon, isn't it? Right now it's sixteen o'clock. Is it? Okay. If you say so. Let's see. Then just love sunny days. Wow, sweet. This was a fun time that we had together. I would love is a lovely experience. I'm glad I get shared with you. We could, we had so much fun. This is wonderful. All right, I'm gonna post some letters. I'm actually gonna deposit some money because I've lost some money. Um, that's probably a lot. Yeah, yeah. See, even when I was canceled, I could still earn my money in Animal Crossing. Can't stop me selling my dinosaur bones. I'll just sell them under a pseudonym. Nobody will realize it's me, and I'll make all my money back. It's the perfect crime. You gotta have friends in high places. That way you'll survive it. Oh, that's my problem. I don't have any friends in high places. Oh, man, when they cancel me, I'm toast. What am I gonna do? They're gonna eat me alive. The one thing I hate the most about cancel culture is that, like... Like I said, it doesn't really, like... It's not, it's not real. It's like... People just get angry about stuff and then they forget about it. So, like... It's not a real form of justice, you know? It's not like anybody goes to crime. Crime. <laughs> it's not like anybody goes to 
prison for any of their crimes or whatever. You know, it just seems like it's a lot of bluster, man. I don't fucking know. What do I know? Just some guy's gonna get cancelled in four years. And I'm obviously very bitter about it. So, that's the way it is. Anyway, looking forward to it, guys. Looking forward to it. I mean, the good thing is, nobody watches these episodes when they come out. So, I will have a good four years before anybody finds out. But, don't worry about it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And we will come to it, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I don't know how you sat through it. This was a fucking slog, man. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll be back again tomorrow for more cancelable activities. Please tune in and check them out. It's going to be fun on the bun. And I will see you soon. So thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>